Chloe Grace Moretz started acting at a young age, but really came onto the Hollywood scene with her breakout role in Kick-Ass, where she literally kicked ass. We have all come to know and adore her, and there are some secret facts that will make you love her even more. What was the funny Instagram photo that made us cheer her on? What roles did she not get, and what was the reason she turned some roles down? We'll reveal all this and more in this video. Count how many you know and comment below. Hey, are you new to Screen Rant? Welcome. Give us a like and subscribe below to join our squad and be the first one notified of new videos. Now we'll reveal all the good dirt on Moretz. Let's see what she can do now. Chloe trained with infamous stunt master Jackie Chan's very own stunt team for her role as the hit girl in both the kick-ass movies. She also did gymnastics training to boot. She has six tattoos, and they all are backed by strong meanings. The one on her back left ribs reads Janet Duke, which is the name of her maternal grandmother. We love that. The tattoo was done by celeb inker John Boy. Do you have any meaningful tattoos? Let us know below. At the ripe old age of 13, she was already known as the busiest actress in Hollywood, which only reflects well on her career as she has taken on more and more roles. In 2018, we will see her in The Miseducation of Cameron Post, playing the role of Cameron Post, directed by Desiree Akavan. She had a sister she never got to meet. Chloe's younger sister passed a couple days after being born, but she still lives on in her heart. She may take some time off to study other facets of filmmaking. In an interview with Time Magazine, she said, I think I'm going to take two years off to see what it's like and then go to school for film editing and cinematography. We'd love to see what films she would make with that degree. In 2012, she was granted the Max Mara Face of the Future Award by Max Mara's Signature. That same year, she was the youth face of Aeropostale Clothing. In 2013, she was awarded the Next Future Icon Award at the L Style Awards Gala held in London. Talk about these people making accurate predictions, huh? Hold the phone, guys. Chloe is a dog lover. She even named her dogs after her first film, which we love. Can you guess what her dog's names are? After filming her first feature, The Amityville Horror, she named her male dog Fuller after producer Bradley Fuller and her female dog Missy after her character's nickname in the film. You may have been playing a video game and heard a recognizable voice similar to Chloe's. Does that seem right? If you did, you were right. Chloe has voiced over video games including The Heiress, Emily Caldwin in Dishonored, as well as the kick-ass video games. During her audition for the Amityville Horror, in which she was only six, she had to prove she could cry on cue. She said she had to continuously do it to prove she could and that she wasn't making herself crazy while doing it. This Instagram post of her straddling what she captions as camel drag needs no exclamation. It's just pure gold. Moretz was homeschooled by her mom. It helped her continue to work around her busy schedule as an actress as well as her mother's work. She said about the experience, it's not that bad. Chloe has appeared in tons of ads working as a model while standing up for positive body image. You can see her featured in Vogue, Mary Claire, and Elle, just to name a few. We mean just check out her Instagram account. It's loaded with posts of her amazing fashion iconness. Lots of times young stars have parents in the industry, however, Chloe's parents are both medical professionals, so she avoided the cliché. Her father is a plastic surgeon, and her mother is a nurse. Unfortunately, the couple is now divorced. She's very sporty. In her free time, she loves swimming as well as playing basketball and doing gymnastics. Maybe that's what helped her land the stunt-filled role in Kick-Ass. What do you think? She has four older brothers who have been big influences on her life, especially towards her stance on gay rights. Two of her brothers struggled coming out as gay. She says, no one should care what your sexual orientation is, what your skin color is, or if you're a man or woman. Preach, girl. She's a big hockey fan. She's originally from Atlanta, Georgia, but her two favorite NHL teams are the LA Kings and the New York Islanders. Moretz often goes to games with her brothers. Her favorite actresses are Natalie Portman, Audrey Hepburn, Kate Blanchett, and Kirsten Dunst. She spoke about these famous ladies, saying they've all made phenomenal choices and chosen the love of good film over money. She sure seems wise beyond her years, right? She works with a charity called Children of the Night. It is a United States nonprofit, privately funded organization that focuses on getting girls off the streets. It began in 1979 to help young women in prostitution. Moretz says she gets a lot of clothes from being an actress. She doesn't even open the boxes, she just brings them to the charity. The woman's got a heart of gold. Her favorite movie of all time is Audrey Hepburn's Breakfast at Tiffany's from 1961. Who doesn't love that classic, right? 
Moretz has high standards. She considers herself a proud feminist and has turned down roles for being incredibly sexualized. Moretz was also up for the Hunger Games franchise, but was beat out by Jennifer Lawrence. This didn't slow down the actress one bit, and she continued to work tirelessly. She has a very special acting coach, who is her brother, Trevor. Moretz moved to New York City to support Trevor's acting career when he was accepted into a prestigious school. However, Trevor soon recognized his sister's unwavering talent and quit his own career to support hers. He became her acting coach, mentor, and friend in this crazy business. Moretz has been so close to Broadway. In 2014, she made her off-Broadway debut in The Library, directed by the legendary Steven Soderbergh. It premiered at the Public Theater, which is the same theater where the epic musical Hamilton began. She loves New York, and though she has lived in LA for 10 years, she says her heart is in New York. Do you think she'll ever move back? Chloe is dating Victoria and David Beckham's son in 2018. For years, they have known each other and been friends, and at one point, they even broke up in 2016. Their romance has been quite public, and we love to see that the couple is back together. At least for now. We sure hope it lasts. When Chloe was 14 years old, she said if she could date anyone, she would love to just drive around with Ryan Gosling. Look, we definitely agree with you on that. Who would your celebrity crush be? Did you know all these facts about Miss Grace Moretz? Which fact did you find the most endearing? Did any shock you? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and any other facts about Chloe we didn't mention. Give us a like and hit the subscribe button to be the first in the know for all things Screen Rant. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.